What is going on, everybody? We are at Disney Springs to check out Flavors of Florida, presented by Corksicle. It seems like just yesterday we were here in Disney Springs, and that's probably because we were. There are 30 different restaurants that are participating in the Flavors of Florida. You guys know, we like to eat, so we decided we're gonna bring you guys along to go get us some grub. We've never participated in the Flavors of Florida events here at Disney Springs, ever. So this is gonna be our first time. We would absolutely love to share our first time at Flavors of Florida with you guys. So come along and come with us. And we have a little list of things that we're gonna eat because we can't eat all of the things. We can't go to 30 different locations and eat all of the things, but we are gonna do some. And we're gonna take you along with us. So let's go. First stop on our adventure today is gonna to be at the House of Blues. I haven't eaten at the House of Blues in like forever. We're gonna head on over there and see what they have to offer the flavors of Florida. Looking in the sky, there's a hot air balloon. Right, would you ever do that? I don't like heights, however, it is attached to a cable, so I may get brave enough one day to try it. Just not right now. So Disney Springs is not as crowded as I thought it was gonna be, which is great. You have to embrace the non-busy times. So the House of Blue restaurant and bar has weekend brunch. They have a new brunch menu with live music, bottomless mimosa, chicken and donuts, Saturdays and Sundays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So we had to come inside to order our food because what we wanted to order from the Flavors of Florida is not served outside at the bar. I'm glad because we got a beautiful view of the lake and we got air conditioning. They did give me a little map. Look at this. It's a lot of food places. This festival started July 1st, which was yesterday and goes all the way to August 13th. We're currently playing in the background. Some rock music going on. Who sings this song, Ray? They sing Living on a Prayer? Oh. Well, I've already found out what I was going to eat. So what I did is because it doesn't come with stickers, I wish they did, I did bring a pen. I put a little mark right here so I know that this is what I'm going to order. So it's going to be a lot easier for me to go around Disney Springs figuring out what it is I want to eat. First on the menu for me is going to be the local Florida Mahi Tacos. That sounds delicious and I love tacos. Tacos served with a flour tortilla filled with pickled onions, cold slop, and topped with cilantro, crema, and fresh cilantro. Mahi Tacos is what's gonna be first up, and uh, Ray's a very huge fan of tacos, as you guys may or may not know. This map has all of the locations that is participating in Disney Springs' Flavors of Florida. Some of the places are Gideon's Bakehouse, the House of Blues, which we're in, uh, Jaleo, Doc Menzies Hangar Bar, Morimoto, Pizza Ponte, The Polite Pig, Raglan Road, etc., etc. So we will be visiting a whole bunch of these places. Not all of them, like I said before, because my bank account is not set up to visit each and every one of them. But we will be going to some. Ah, oh, they got the Marvin Gaye playing in the background, Ray. Come on, Ray. Join me, Ray. The young lady that's assisting us today just mentioned to us that the tacos are almost ready. Well, the tacos have arrived, and they also came with a side order of chips. That mahi mahi is fresh. It just totally brought me back to Hawaii. Oh my gosh. This is stuffed with pickled onion and cold slaw, but it's not your typical cold slaw. It's not like extra sweet. It kind of really don't taste like a cold slaw. It kind of tastes like a little bit of mayonnaise mixed with um with cabbage. The flour tortilla is very soft. I don't see the burn mark, so I know they didn't make this tortilla in-house. But all in all, it's still pretty good. Perfect amount of salt, nice little crunch. I just need some salsa. They playing Michael Jackson in the background, so I just wanna start dancing. All I do is see group dancing to this right now. My taco, it has a little weight on it. It's warm on the bottom. Look at that piece of fish. Mm. Oh yeah, it's not overly fishy. Is this blackened mahi mahi? Because uh, I'm gonna need a little agua. The fish is seasoned very, very well. Like I said, on the hot side, I really don't get a huge sense of cilantro, but it's in there. This is this is delicious, babe. I would definitely get this again. The reservations are strongly recommended, even though we did a walk up. Those are available too, but it's suggested that you make a reservation. The music playing in the background at the House of Blues is a whole vibe. They're playing all the 80s classics. <laughs> you know what these chips need? <laughs> what? They're good, but they can use a little bit of salsa. Because Ray doesn't allow me to have soda, 
Not for health reasons, because she's cheap. I'm enjoying my nice, good quality cup of H2O. Water's better for you. You get three tacos for 20 bucks with a side of chips. And they take in your pass holder discount. Woo, so I say 10%. <laughs> I could have ate that whole thing myself, but I'm not trying to be greedy. We have more food to bring you guys. The next stop on our adventure is Everglades Donuts. And we're gonna see what they have for flavors of Florida. We're here at Everglades and we're gonna try one of their returnees. It's their Citrus Dream Donut. Sounds so amazing. The Citrus Dream Donut is an orange glazed confection glazed with white buttercream, citrus flavored icing, and an orange flavored candy and fresh mint. Can I please try the Citrus Dream Donut to go? And I'm an annual pass holder, save 10%. I got my Citrus Dream Donut. I'm gonna eat with my fork and my knife because it's a glazed donut and it gets sticky. This looks like an orange slice. It looks really good. I don't even know where to begin. Let me just try this frosting. That's an orange buttercream. Mm. That was really a lot of orange. Look at that, it's a nice fluffy donut. So just know that when you do come to Everglades, you really do get a really big, big donut. Ooh, I can't wait to eat this. Mm -hmm. Talk about a sugar rush. This donut is really sweet, but really good. It is definitely shareable. The orange flavor with the vanilla of the frosting and the fluffiness of the donut, Oh my goodness, it does come on a glazed donut. This tastes like a real piece of orange. It's my turn to try the donut. This looks insanely sweet, but good at the same time. I'm gonna do like Ray and cut it with a fork because it looks sticky and it gets messy. And I don't wanna lick my fingers walking around here in Disney Springs, but I'll do it. Oh, that's a good piece. Hmm. And the glazed donut and the buttercream together are about to put me in the sugar coma. But then I tasted the oranges now. This is an amazing donut, y'all. Oh my goodness, this is good. Quick June trivia. I'm a huge fan of orange slices. This doesn't taste like an orange slice. It actually tastes like an orange. Oh, I like this, right? This is really, really a great donut. Oh, man. friend with you down there. This is a squirrel free zone. I guess I got company. All in all, this donut is bussing. Slap, son. Slaps, bussing. I'm definitely coming back to get this again. This is shareable. So make sure you don't try to, uh, who am I to judge? You don't eat the whole thing, eat the whole thing. I'm sharing it with Ray and this squirrel that wasn't invited to the party. The next stop on our adventure is Pizza Ponte. Come with us. I'll just take one. I got Pizza Diabola. Um, I really didn't know what it was and I thought it was kind of like pepperoni. I'm like, oh, is that pepperoni? She said, no, it's salami. As you guys can see, it's on a crust like Sicilian style. You guys see how thick? This is a thick, huge slice of pizza. Like, it is heavy. I'm not sure what's on here that's spicy, but something is spicy. I'm breaking it apart. It's a lot of bread. It's very filling. The salami is, uh, that's where the spice is coming from. I don't get a cheese pool. They have hot pepper flakes that's baked into the dough. My favorite pizza though is the New York style that they do serve here. Guys, they do take an annual pass, so I did save 10%, but I'm gonna take it home to my kids because you know my son is probably waiting for us to walk through that door. We were gonna stop at Gideon's, but their line is like forever and a day and they're not doing virtual queue. There was something on the menu that I really wanted to try, which is the key lime chocolate chip cookie, but I'm not waiting in line. Maybe we'll come back later and the line will be down. All right, so we're just standing in line and this wonderful, wonderful young lady, she heard us tell us that we weren't coming because the line was too long and they just offered to buy our cookie. So we're gonna wait right here while they get our cookie. We're gonna try it and we wanna thank you guys. That is so nice of you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I got my key lime chocolate chip cookie. It's already melted. Look. 
Let's flip it. So it doesn't look all that pretty, but I bet you it probably tastes good. This is the key lime chocolate chip cookie. Vanilla bean cookie dough infused with Florida key lime juice, then blanketed with premium chocolate chips and special key lime pie crumbs. <laughs> it is very different. It is very, very different, but it's not bad. It's not like extra tart, like you would eat a piece of key lime pie and it's really tart most of the time. Okay, 98% of the time to me it's very tart. This still has a sweetness to it. I don't know if I would buy this again. It's not really one of my faves. If you look at the cookie, there's a bunch of uh, chocolate chip morsels. The majority of them melted. And they are laying on a beautiful looking chocolate chip cookie. Let's take a bite. The cookie is really soft and the chocolate is extra chocolatey. There is a lot of lime going on right now. Hence the name, Key Lime Pie Cookie. That lime says, hello, I'm here, look at me. Like the kids say, it's given lime. I'm not a Key Lime Pie type of guy, but this isn't bad at all. Corsicle just happens to be the sponsors of this festival going on right now, and they have a little shop right behind me, so let's go take a look at some of the tumblers that they have in there. Look how cute. I love the colors, this screams spring to me. This cup will keep your drink very cold and keep your ice frozen for a little bit. I love their tumblers. Oh, let's go see what else they have. This is a sport canteen, which is really, really nice. They have two different ounces. A 32 ounce is $54.95 and a 20 ounce is $42.99. If you guys don't want to walk holding it, you can buy this sling. This is $60. The cast member just told me that this is a 360. You press it down so it opens all the way around. So you could just pick the cup up and sit from wherever. If you want to close it, you press it down. Straight spill proof. I need this cup in my life. As many times I spill coffee, that's awesome. And then you don't have to worry about wondering where you're gonna put your mouth to drink because you can do the entire perimeter of it. It's like 45 bucks. They also have tumblers for children. Look at this, it has a little handle. Look at this, you flip it up. And this is where they drink from. Look at Simba. I love it. Mickey, look at you got Woody. Buzz Lightyear. Last week they had a whole series coming out. They had Stitch because you guys know it was 626 day, right? The Stitch was more like this. This is Little Mermaid. If you're into Cinderella, look at this one. Look at this. It has the Mickey ears on it. Orange bird nest, please. That's me. All right, guys. The orange bird nest comes in this little waffle cone. It's a Dole Whip orange in a vanilla waffle bowl with whipped cream, green sprinkles, and an orange bird chocolate decoration. I don't see sprinkles. I like it better with the whipped cream. Dole Whips usually consist of what tastes like to me orange sherbet, and this is exactly what this tastes like: orange sherbet. I see they added a little bit of whipped cream. And that's exactly what it tastes like. A little bit of whipped cream. But this is a white chocolate disc with orange bird on it. Ray can have that because I'm not a white chocolate fan. I'm gonna eat the inside because I'm a huge fan of orange sherbet. Like I mentioned before, orange sherbet and whipped cream reminds me of a creamsicle. Oh my goodness. On a hot summer's day or even in the winter, you can enjoy this. Mm. Delicioso. I'm here at Dockside Margarita. I'm gonna get something that they have on the menu called the Frozen Orange Daiquiri. Siesta Key Silver Rum, Cointreau, liqueur, orange juice, vanilla ice cream, and garnished with an orange wedge. Cheers. I got the Frozen Orange Daiquiri. The bartender put the rim of the glass in sugar. So let me. Mm. This tastes like a creamsicle just with some tequila in it. You get a real strong orange flavor with this and you also taste the ice cream in it. This is wonderful. This is a great summer drink. And the daiquiri doesn't have too much tequila. Mm-hmm. Right behind me is a photo op where they have the orange bird. It has a bunch of oranges and trees. So now Ray and I are walking over to Amaretz because they have something for the flavors of Florida Fest. And so we're headed over there right now. And we were just in there, but they didn't have it because it just came out on July 1st. And so we are going the wrong way, first of all. And once we get back on track, we're gonna head on over to Amaretz. 
<laughs> you guys can buy this corksicle tumbler. Look, it says Disney Springs on it. The other side has a little orange. It says Flavors of Florida. So it's $38 and it actually comes with a drink. I'm at the pop-up stand right in front of the world of Disney if anyone's looking for that cute little tumbler. We made it to Amaretz. Let's go pick out our orange cream puff. We were just in here a couple days ago. If you guys didn't see that video where I did the Indiana Jones inspired foods that were here at Disney Springs, we're gonna leave that video linked down below. Make sure you guys click it and go watch it. It was really fun and you guys will find out how I felt about that Indiana Jones cake. All right guys, I got the orange cream puff. I want to read everything that comes in it. It's a bunch of words that I just can't pronounce and I don't want to ruin the French words. So at first glance, I'm like, oh, this is pretty. It's very hard on the outside. This, this is what it looks like on the bottom. This is not an edible straw. This is just something, a paper straw, so do not eat that. But you can eat the fondant leaves on top. It kind of reminds me of a biscuit, maybe. Let's just take a bite. It does have some kind of filling in the middle. But the biscuit on the outside is really not that sweet. So it is filled with orange curd and a orange honey, but I can't tell you what the shell is made of because it's something I never had, but it reminds me of a croissant, except not being like flaky. It's like the texture of a bottom of a croissant. That's what it's giving me. I'm getting like a milky consistency from the cream in the middle, but I do get like hints of honey. I get a little hints of orange. This is like the custard it looks like in the middle. Yeah, but it's not as thick as a custard. It's more like a, a watered down custard. It's like a carnation. Carnation, you know, like 2%. Like carnation. I don't know, it's very milky. The bottom part right here is almost like a biscuit. So I see why you said croissant. I don't know how to describe this either. This is a scone. I used to eat these with the Queen of England last time I visited Europe. Did I get it again? I don't know. It's not bad. It's just different. So what did you think about the puff pastry? Would you, it was would you different. Buy it, again? it wasn't bad, it was just different. It was. All. It wasn't nasty. No, it wasn't nasty at all, but no. it was a, it was just very, very different. Yeah, I would never tell you guys not to try something because we all have different tastes. So I always say give it give it a try. Yeah. Now there's a couple things I might say. Hey, it those is. are not my faves. Right. We may very well love something that you may very well hate. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah. If we like something and you don't like it. Something wrong with you, my doula we got? <laughs> no. We just got different taste buds. That's, that's all. all. That's it. We had a fun day here at Disney Springs. We, we tried lots of different foods and a lot of desserts. There was more dessert options for us because right. they were more appealing to us. We're like, ooh, ooh, let's get that. Right. And there was a lot of pork stuff that he couldn't have on there. If you guys are in the area, come on to Disney Springs. It's free to get in, free admission, free parking. Right. Come to Flavors of Florida and try some of the foods that we try. If you do try some, let us know in the comments what was your favorite. I really like the tacos. I okay. think that Mai Mai just reminded me of being in Hawaii. Right. I thought it was very fresh and I loved the pickled onions. Right. I thought it was really good. And we had a great time over here at Disney Springs. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. And until next time, mwah. Bye. Bye! We will talk to y'all later. Bye!